Hey YouTube, happy Saturday. Okay, I am coming on today with a quick first impressions review of the CoverGirl Intense Shadow Blast. Um, it is a primer plus eyeshadow. And this color that I got is called Blue Bomb. That's the box, that's the name. And this is the tube that it came in. Oh, wait a minute. See if you can see the name. It's kind of a glare, probably. Um, I haven't seen the commercial with Drew uh, Barrymore and the colors and everything, and I was like, I gotta try that. So I went to CVS today and I picked it up. Now at my CVS, it was nine ninety nine. I ended up having to go up the street to Walgreens after I had already bought this, and it was eight ninety nine at the Walgreens. But I didn't go back and take it back up the street because that one dollar I would have burned off in gas going back up the street take it back but just in my area $9.99 at CVS $8.99 at Walgreens um to me that price is a bit much ten dollars I think they have like five colors right now five or six colors so if you got all of them you're gonna spend sixty dollars and this is I don't know how big this little tube is supposed to be um 0.27 ounces and it's a liquid kind of creamy base. I've already done this eye and I did up underneath. Right now, I think I like it. Do I like it enough to spend $10 for the rest of them? I don't know yet. Probably not because I have an eye primer and I have shadow, but this is supposed to be a primer and shadow in one and it's not supposed to crease. We will see about that. I'm supposed to be going out tonight. I don't know if I'm going to go because it's raining. I hope it stops raining because I do feel like going out tonight. Um, and I will probably wear this and I will see how it lasts. I've already done, like I said, the one eye. And it comes with a little applicator tip like that. And I did. You just brush it on. I just put it on my lid. I didn't want it all over my eye and get it as close. I got it as close to my lash line as I could. Um, and then I cleaned it up a little bit because it does, because the applicator is as wide as it is. It got into my crease. So I just cleaned it up a little bit with the Q-tip. Um, right now I'm not going to put anything else on with it. I'm just going to use it alone by itself. And then I also put just a little bit here on my bottom lash. Just kind of go sweep it across just a little bit. It's not bad. The color does, to me, the color does pop really well. Um, and I do like wearing kind of blue, not blue, blue, but blue eyeshadow because my eyes are brown and, you know, blue shadow brings out brown eyes. Um, so right now, first impressions, I like it. Um, like I said, it's not supposed to crease. We will see about that. The price, I'm not too great, not too fond of, but it is a new product. I know they usually go down a little bit um so we'll see if the price does go down on that so right now first impressions i say yeah yeah as far as the product the price they can go down a little bit on that um the other thing i bought when i went up to the walgreens um actually let me backtrack about a week ago me and one of my girlfriends were we went to uh, walmart and she was looking for a nail polish she was actually looking for a green polish couldn't find one but she found this. This, to me, is one of the prettiest. It's just, you know, kind of natural. You know, if you're just looking for a natural polish, not, you know, really bright or anything like that, or, you know, any, not anything to really stand out. This is Revlon Top Speed Fast Dry Nail Enamel. And the name is Stormy. And I put a little bit 
on my thumbnail. I just think this is a really nice color. When she picked hers up um, last week when we were at Walmart, I did the same thing. I just put a little bit on my thumb to see how it looked. And it came out so pretty. And she told me that I could borrow it anytime. But I was like, I want my own because I could see myself using this up. And I don't think I've ever gone to the bottom of a uh, bottle of nail polish. But I think I might use this all up because this is really cute. Um, and it is fast drying. I put this on maybe five minutes, eight minutes ago, and it's already dry. The only thing that I didn't like about it when I put um, the little bit that I put on my thumb last week was that when it dries, it's, it's a matte finish, and I guess maybe that's because it's one of the fast drying, but just put a shiny top coat on it and you won't have a problem. But I think that color is awesome. Again, Stormy, I think I paid oh, $5.99 for this. They had a lot of their other Revlon stuff. Like I said, I got this from Walgreens. A lot of the other Revlon polish was on sale, but not the fast drying. So those are the things I got from the drugstore today. Might as well show you what else I got. I could not help it. A pair of earrings. And I still have not worn what my little challenge to myself was, was to wear my earrings. I only wore the one pair. I still have other pairs that I need to wear. And I went off and bought these. But I thought these were so cute. Little hoops with just the little plastic beads on them. Um, I got these from Payless. They were having their buy one, get one, you know, half off thing. I only paid $2.49 for these. So I couldn't pass them up. I had to buy them. They're so cute. <laughs> so I did buy those. And I well, might as well show you the shoes that I bought. Um, just a pair I haven't had, I have mainly been wearing flip-flops this summer. I don't know, I get into flip-flops and I wear them and I haven't had on a pair of heels and I know it's getting ready to become fall time. I haven't even, I think I wore, I have a pair like this, um, with the little wedge heel. I think I've only wore those once this summer and I can't keep walking around in flip-flops because your feet get flat and... As comfortable as they may be, we sometimes have to put on real shoes. So I bought these. I might wear them when I go out tonight. I don't know. I plan on wearing black and silver, so these are kind of silver. And these are on sale because, of course, they have boots out now, which, you know, are full price. These are only $12, so I was pretty happy about that. So those were my purchases today. Um... When I come back on Tuesday for Tuesday tip, I will give my overall review of the Shadow Blast Intense Shadow. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.